Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. I'm here with my good friend Steven. Hey everybody. So today before the video starts, I'll have to leave to thank you to Steven for having me on um, back again on my channel. I really do appreciate my it. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> so today's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. So we're talking about Bergamot 22 today. But before we do, I'm gonna leave Steven's channel down below. Definitely go show some support to his channel, subscribe to it. He talks about men's fragrances, women's, and fragrances for teenagers, which is amazing. Um, especially if you're new to fragrances, he breaks down the fragrances very easy and tries to find affordable fragrances for you. So definitely check his channel out, leave it down below, and make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much. No problem. So today we're talking about Bergamot. 22, I love bow. So this is a beautiful fragrance. I know Steven knows a lot about it. <laughs> and it's just, to me, it's just amazing. It's fresh, it's clean, it's perfect for the spring and summertime. And I'm gonna go over the price point in this video here, the performance, and Steven will go over his performance and if he loves it or hates it, so on and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> so this right here, I have the 50 mil. They do have 100 mil and they do have a travel size. This right here is gonna run you about 192. And with tax, it's like, I think 204, 205. And then you can get the 100 mil for 280, so it can run you about 300 something dollars. I'll leave the websites down below where you can buy it at Nordstrom or at the Lillabo Boutique. Um, I bought mine at the Nordstrom um, in Philadelphia. They have a Lillabo inside, and the sales show, she was awesome. Gave me a bunch of free samples, and thank you so much. Let Steven tell a little bit how he feels about the fragrance, then I'll go over a note breakdown. So. Thank you, Chris. So, I personally love Bergamot 22. Uh, it was one of the first fragrances that I purchased from Le Labo. I think my order was like this, Oud 27, Patchouli 24, and then I purchased Bergamot 22. And it was right around that time when I was like, okay, I need something that is very versatile, very wearable, something that has a mass appeal to it. And I had been a fan of Versace Mano Fresh for like the longest time. So I thought that this was like the niche version of that. It's crazy to think that it's been out now for 15 years. It came out in 2006. Uh, the perfumer is Daphne Buguet. And you have this combination of not just bergamot, but you also have like neroli, pedigreen, vetiver kind of keeps it clean as well. You have some musk in the base. But for me, this is a really long lasting bergamot scent. It lasts, I mean, the citrus alone lasts a very long time, which is something that's kind of hard to come across with a lot of citrus fragrances out there. So beautiful. And pretty much, I don't, know about it, I don't have to worry about the note breakdown because Steven just talked about it, but <laughs> I'll post it here on the screen so you guys can see note breakdown, but it's just, it's an amazing fragrance. I just love wearing this one. And I smell it like four or five times at the store. I sprayed it and walked around I'm like, Oh my God, like it's just fresh, it's clean. And that bergamot comes in where it's so fresh. Like if you like fragrances like Zerzhoff Neo, mm -hmm. if you like fragrances like uh, Zerzhoff 1861, I think Roja Dove Elysium, they're very fresh and uplifting scents. This is in that same category, but I feel like this is just a, just a very, very fresh fragrance. And it's just, the price point isn't too bad for 192 for a niche fragrance. And I feel like I like the presentation, even though some people might think it's tacky. You can actually customize <laughs> your bottle. Like I had my name, Casual Fragrance on it. You can put your name on it, you know, your, your, your name, your nickname. It's just something different. And the experience is really nice. The people there tell you about the fragrance and break down the notes and let you know, or you ask for advice and they help you out. You know, it's not like they tell you to buy something you don't like. Le Labo boutique that I've been to from my memory is the one on Elizabeth Street in Manhattan. I think it's like 233 Elizabeth Street. And the staff is very friendly there. Uh, there was this one guy that I met and coincidentally, he was from um, New Jersey as well. He was from Union City, New Jersey. And so we were talking for like half an hour or something like that. Very personable, very down to earth. And so I think that that's kind of important too. You walk into a boutique, there's a certain aesthetic that you can admire. And I know Lelabo has like the laboratory style bottles and you know, 22 and Bergamot 22 is actually how many ingredients are in this perfume. And a long time ago, they actually used to have an expiration date on there. They did away with that. And I also remember the good old days when a 50 ml was $145. Wow, that's a steal. <laughs> that's a steal for almost $200 for it now. But they do have refills. So if you get it refilled, uh, you just bring your bottle and I think it's 20% off. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, so it's oh, pretty cool. Shoot. Personally, uh, performance, I'll give touch on a little bit, and if Steven wants to touch on it, that'd be awesome. Sure. So I get about an hour or so of projection. Now, it's not a full arm length. It's one that is, 
I say moderate, so it's like around your air, scent bubble area and people are gonna catch whiffs of it. I mean, it's not that you spray it, you're gonna smell, people are gonna smell, but it's not gonna reach out and grab people in, but it does smell really good. And um, the longevity for me, I'm getting about six hours, six and a half, and it's a freshie, I'm happy. I can always reapply this one. And you know, for freshies, a lot of them don't perform the best, but this one here is very, it's a citrus fragrance where it's fresh and it's clean throughout the six hours. So I That's do, I, I appreciate the, how it wears on my skin. I agree with Chris. I think that the citrus is very lively. It's not something that is going to project way beyond an arm's length or anything like that. It creates a really nice bubble. On my skin, I also get in the vicinity of like six to seven hours, uh, just because a lot of the other citrus components are pretty short-lived, but the bergamot is pretty resolute, and I feel like it works hand-in-hand -hand with the vetiver, kind of extending that cleanliness way into the base. And so for me, I get more of that vetiver in like the third, fourth, and fifth hour. Uh, but while the bergamot is in there, it is my favorite part of the fragrance. Oh yes, and opening. So <laughs> it definitely is the type of fragrance that I like to spray several times throughout the day just to get that full effect of the opening. On a season and occasion and a rating, and then we will wrap this up. But so far for me, I feel like it's a spring and summer fragrance, but you can wear a signature scent all year round because it's not going to offend anybody. I feel like it's better in the warmer months, but if you if you work in an office or warehouse like I do, you're indoors, it's gonna smell good, people are gonna like it, but don't expect wonders in the fall and winter time. Um, I would say for occasions, anytime, dressed up or dressed down, it's a nice fragrance to wear all year round if you want to, if you don't have a lot of signature scents. It's pretty much it. As long as you're wearing it indoors, you can wear it all year round. However, because it's so citrus heavy, you probably want to wear it in the hotter weather. I think it gives off a casual vibe just because there's so much citrus in there. But if you want to wear it dressed up, I mean, you are going to smell different from the guy who's wearing Dior Sauvage or Bleu de Chanel or <laughs> Dolce & Gabbana K, for example. So I think that this one is a pretty good niche fragrance to sort of set you apart from other people. When it comes to like, Formal fragrances from the Labo, I would probably recommend like Vetiver 46 or Te Noir 29 or something along those lines. But this one gives me a bit more of a casual feel, but I definitely think you can wear it dressed up as well. I'm gonna just give it a nine. I would give it a 10, but I know people will say $192 is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And I do know, and Steven, I'll leave the video down below if I remember it. He did a video with this, um, with Dua fragrances and it's inspiration of this fragrance here. And I know that performs really good too as well. Yeah, so, it does actually perform pretty well. And the price is a little bit cheaper than this, but I'll leave the video down below so you can watch that video and definitely subscribe to his channel so you can learn more about the, the Dua fragrance because sometimes this price point is a lot expensive and I understand that. So at least they have alternatives if you want to try it out at a lower, cheaper price. I love this one a lot. I'm happy I have it and it just puts a smile on my face when I wear this fragrance. I feel confident going out. I'm not going to offend anybody and people around me do like it. I know um, for common factor, I wore it to my friend Mike's house, he's a cop, uh -huh. and his wife came home with the kids and she smelled in the room, she's like, it smells so good in here. And she's like, is it you Chris? And she's like, oh my God, you smell amazing. I'm like, oh cool, I'm like, it was, it was, and this was after like five hours on my skin. So I'm like, oh cool, she loved it. And she's like, I need a bottle of that Chris. And I'm like, okay, and like, do they have candles? I said, I'm not sure. I said, I gotta go to Lilla Bo and find out, but uh -huh. she loved it. And I was, it's happy to get a compliment and she didn't know what I was even wearing. She just loved the way I smelled. Oh, that's awesome. So cool. It's I don't, always nice yeah. to get a reaction like that. <laughs> so I'm not saying you're gonna get comments with this. I'm just saying that it can be a comment get a fragrance for people to wear. Do you love it or how do you feel about it yourself? I still love it. Yeah, Bergamot 22 is one of my favorites. It's one of the Le Labo fragrances that I often reach for. Uh, it goes without saying that with my collection, it's kind of hard to wear everything in there, <laughs> but I will reach for this before I reach for Oud 27 or Aldehyde 44 or Labdenum 18, just because this one is so easy to wear. So I still love it. It's one of my favorites. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you guys for my all the support on the channel. I thank Steven for being back on the channel. Oh, my pleasure. I anytime. appreciate it. Definitely, if you like this type of content, I hope you consider liking the video, clicking that red subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements. I'm gonna leave Steven's shell down below. Definitely click that subscribe button and learn a lot more about fragrances, niche designers, and indie fragrances. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next video. Peace. Bye.